All right, boyfriend rides motocross. Uh, dear Bill, I love all your work and your comedy. Thank you. You're so inspired. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, where I'd like, where I'd like your input. Here we go. I'm seriously dating someone who loves to ride and race motocross. That's fucking awesome. I bet, I bet this isn't the same woman from the last one. You know, I bet this isn't the guy that's getting married. The motocross guy. This guy's fucking cool. This guy doesn't like a fucking side hug. He's just going to fucking punch you in the face with his motorcycle gloves still on, right? Uh, We've been together for over a year, so I'm starting to think about marriage and a family with this person because we're both 25. Well, that makes sense. Uh, He's awesome in every way and the person I know I want to be with forever. Well, there you go. But he loves to ride and race motocross. It's not on the professional level. It's a hobby. Oh, sweetheart. You're going to do this? You're going to take away his fucking hobby? We had a talk recently where I asked him how long he wants to keep riding, and he said forever. I know someone who has two children whose husband had an accident riding a dirt bike. He's paralyzed and doesn't remember who his kids are. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. There's people who get in cars. I mean, come on, man. What are you, what are you doing? This is, come on. I'll tell you right now, if, you, if this guy who you want to marry, if you want to make him fucking miserable. After explaining this to my boyfriend, he said, if something's going to happen to me, it will, whether I'm riding motocross or not. I'm not going to change what I love doing because of fear of what could happen. Uh, I got to tell you this. I, I understand why you love this guy. I'm starting to develop feelings for this guy. He's holding his ground. He's riding motorcycles. I mean, you're dating the fucking Marlboro man here. Um, I, th- I think that's a selfish response when it involves your children. I hate to try and, well, you don't have any kids yet, all right? Uh, You said, I hate to try to convince him to stop something he loves doing so much, but I can't imagine being with someone who participates in an extreme sport as a hobby when I have children with him. Is it wrong of me to ask him to promise to stop when we have kids, or am I being controlling? Uh, Well, first of all, the fact that you ask that, you're a cool person, all right? If you're actually questioning your behavior, this is the thing. I think you're a little further ahead emotionally in this relationship than when he's at, where most women are. All right. Um, And this is the thing. When you become a dad, you do change. All right. So that rather than fucking nag him about this shit, just let the guy ride. And if you get married, okay. I'm telling you right now, when you get married and you have a fucking kid, this guy is going to be so fucking sleep deprived and so goddamn tired. He's not going to have time to ride. Okay. Though as much as he used to, which will then make it safer because he's not riding as much. But, um, I think there's a big thing. You can't, when you love somebody, you have to let them do what they love unless it's heroin. Okay. <laughs> Or being a pedophile. Obvious fucking things, all right? But other, you know, if my wife, like, all of a sudden wanted to be one of those roller derby queens, as much as it would fucking destroy me watching her taking those bumps as they're elbowing them, as they're skating around, if she really loved doing it, you know, I I wouldn't tell her not to fucking do it. I really would be worried about concussions and shit like that. I would be. I'm not going to lie to you, but... um, you got to let people do what they do. Uh, it sounds like you got a really cool guy that you're dating, by the way. So congratulations. Um, and I think you're going to be a great mom because you're doing what a mom does. A mom's already looking way into the future, trying to figure out where the danger is and try to eliminate it. All right. So I think you're both lucky to have each other. Just fucking relax. Get yourself a goddamn glass of wine. Let the guy ride his bike. You know, you guys get married someday. I'm telling you, when you get fucking knocked up and all of a sudden he's got to go to 7-Eleven, you know, because you want beef jerky and a fucking, a fucking, I don't know, and, and some goddamn ice cream, whatever your craving is, uh, you know, believe me, like I, I have had to make adjustments in my life. Um, I think you'll be fine, but uh, you definitely really, you know, you know, they always say a good man's hard to find. A good woman is also hard to find. And the fact that you're cool enough to actually be considering, am I being a douche here? Uh, I think you guys are going to be all right. All right, there you go.